So this next company uh, is called Relative Insights. This is Ben, he's the, co he's the founder and CEO. And he's gonna talk to us today about language, how to interpret it, how to think about language as data sets, and how to understand customers and consumers better as a result. Come on up, Ben. Morning, all. So I'm Ben, I'm the CEO. And what we do at Relative Insight is that we help brands and agencies understand their audience by understanding how that audience talks. So everyone talks about a given topic in a slightly different way with a different style of expression. Everyone has different interests and so on and so on. And what we do is model these audiences at massive scale to help you understand the subtleties between them. So it's ad week, so you're gonna hear a lot about technology you're going to hear a lot about targeting technology. So think of that as who to talk to. Um, however, think of us as the people who tell you how to talk to people. There's no point talking to the right person in the wrong way. So where did all this enthusiasm for language come from? It didn't come from marketing. Uh, originally, we are a law enforcement company. We do a lot of work with, yeah, you didn't expect a, a cybersecurity lecture this morning. Um, we do a lot of work with uh, UK government and we were developed as a joint government agency and academic program to uncover masquerading online. So you can imagine there's lots of counter-terrorism and, and fraud examples of that but we do a lot of work in child protection as well. So the kind of stuff we were designed to do is in an open chat room or a forum we know if you're a 13 year old girl talking or if you're a 30 year old man doing a really really good impression of a 13-year-old girl. And we do that by analyzing language. Now the key here is to compare them and understand what is different. They might be 98% identical, but you don't care about what's the same. You care about the 2% difference. And when we're all talking to each other, it's the differences that matter. So that's what we do. So we've since turned this into an enterprise scale analytics platform. And it's being used by some pretty big companies to take their understanding of their audience onto the next level. So, I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, this was for a makeup brand who wanted to understand how different age groups talk about makeup. And if you go to online reviews of makeup and then you split them by age and you look at how 20 year olds review makeup and you compare that to how 50 year olds review makeup and then you compare them, a lot of it's the same because they're talking about makeup, that's to be expected. But when you dig into it, you find that 20 year olds tend to say they wear makeup, 50 year olds tend to say they apply makeup. And this is important to know if you're in the cosmetics business because if you're trying to target young people by saying apply our product every day, you're not talking in authentic language to the right, to the right audience. So if you think about this comparison paradigm, you can compare language in lots of different ways. So people in different geographies, compare them, how, what's the difference? Or how are people talking about your brand now compared with how they were talking about it before the ad campaign you spent all that money on? The delta tells you the actual effect of the ad campaign. Now the good news is, um, I'm guessing most of you are sat on data that you can use to do this kind of stuff already. So most people have got social listening or CRM or access to reviews and so on and so on. Um, the problem marketers have is that to access that sort of insight, you have to kind of search for what you think is important rather than kind of discovering new unknown insights. And all you get is sort of data fire hose. And so what we do is that we layer on top of those tools and data sources. We allow you to then compare the language in all kinds of different ways, and you get much, much better results out of it. So here's another one, Tresemme. Tresemme wanted to appeal to women with frizzy hair. So we got involved in helping them out on that. Now, there's a forum for everything. There are forums dedicated for hair care, but there are lots and lots of forums dedicated specifically to frizzy hair. So what you do is that you scoop up all the language on hair care, you scoop up all the language which is frizzy hair, and by comparing them and dropping away what's common, you're left with what specifically frizzy hair enthusiasts, is that the right word? 
frizzy hair people tend to say more than um, regular hair care discussion. And what we found was actually the key word here was smoothness. So frizzy hair um, enthusiasts tend to talk about smoothness a whole lot. And so this is the kind of language you've got to use in your comms with them to resonate with that audience. So we've been doing some other great work with RGA and the marketing science team with Samsung as well, where we've been modeling entire audiences. So we've identified audiences who've got a preference for one Samsung device or another. But then we grab everything they say, not just when they're talking about Samsung, but everything they say. And by building these up into data models around language, you get a complete picture of what these people care about, what they talk about, what makes them happy, what makes them sad, how they express themselves, what adjectives they use, and so on and so on. And by understanding all of this, you can create much, much better strategy, and you create much more effective communications to these groups. So everything I've just been talking about is a technology-driven process. This is all a tech solution. So it's driven off a dashboard. Um, the way you get access to that, there's a couple of ways. Uh, you can either license the tool. So uh, Unilever, for example, licenses the, the technology. But not everyone's got an insight team or a data team. So if you have a particular project you're thinking about, just come and talk to us and we'll get it all done for you normally in a matter of days. So it's really simple. Uh, we just understand how people talk. People want to be talked to in the way that they talk. It makes life much, much easier for them, much, much easier for you. Everyone's happy. So thanks very much. Come get me afterwards. Thanks, Ben. Great job.